YouTube viewers, how are you? This is Liz, the English broadcast of Cosmos TV. It's very nice to meet you. The Multicultural Welfare Center, which broadcasts Cosmos TV, is in simple terms called the Tabuk Center and is a welfare organization of a cooperated body that supports multicultural families and foreigners to settle safely in Korea. At the end of February 2020, the Korean government declared the crisis level of Corona-19 at the critical level and delayed the starts of term date for all types of schools from March 2nd to March 9th. In line with this, Cosmos has prepared a special announcement regarding Corona-19 for multicultural people with limited fluency in Korean. We are preparing the broadcast in Japanese, Mongolian, Philippine, English, and Taiwanese. So please share it up around. Coronavirus can be transmitted to both animals and humans and amongst those which can affect humans. Six types are currently known about. Four of them are those causing disease, like a cold and other two are known as the MIRS coronavirus and the SIRS coronavirus. In all countries, including Korea's, the official name being used for the virus is Corona-19. Furthermore, as of yet, there is no known vaccine systemized treatment and patients are being treated according to the symptoms of individuals. With the progression of Corona-19 changing rapidly, it is a time of desperation, calling on the efforts of the entire nation to prevent infection. Not only for those going outside, even the common, easy-to-use medical institution should make sure they have taken all the necessary precautions in advance before making a visit, especially those in isolated from their family or those families or roommates who are living together with someone isolated from their family, particular care is needed. Cosmos TV has organized the Corona-19 prevention guidelines as set out by the headquarters for disease control and prevention in any way which can be understood easily. To start with, there are the general citizens prevention guidelines. Firstly, regardless, wash your hands throughout the, with soap. When washing your hands, you should clean your hands throughout the under running water for at least 30 seconds. Secondly, if you haven't washed your hands, then not touch your eyes, nose, your, or mouth. Third of all, when you cough, you absolutely must cover your nose and mouth with the sleeves of your clothes. Fourth, you should avoid contact with any person who has respiratory symptoms such as a fever or cough. Fifth, refrain from visiting places where large amounts people are gathering. Lastly, elderly pregnant women are currently ill. People should without doubt wear a mask when going outside. This final precaution also applies to all people. In the case that you have suspect symptoms of Corona-19, such as a fever, a cough, you should first refrain from going outside and rest at home, observing symptoms for a day or two. And also please don't go straight away to a large hospital or emergency room. First contact the regional public health center and use the phone number 1009 or area code plus 120 to receive a consultation. Thirdly, when visiting a medical institution such as screening clinic, wearing a mask is a must. And for those with the option, please use your own cars. Fourthly, before any treatment, medical staff must be informed of the patient records of travel abroad or any contact with patients who have a tendency for respiratory illnesses. Finally, fifthly, they must faithfully practice their advice of the medical staff and current authorities. If you find yourself to be in the case of self-confinement, you must first of all prohibit leaving quarantine to prevent the spread of further infections. And second of all, you must stay alone in an isolated place. Why isolated place close the door, the room and open the windows to ensure frequent ventilation. Also eat alone. If possible, use toilet and sink which only you use. If you cannot but help to use them in common, disinfect the toilet and sink with household disinfections such as legs after use. Third, if it is 
invitable to go out for medical treatment, you must contact your local public health center first. Fourth, avoid contacts such as talking with family members. A roommate and it is necessary keep at least two meters away from each other while wearing a mask. Fifth, household items such as towels and dishes should be arranged for individual use. Enclosing and bedding should be washed separately and tableware should also be washed separately. Sixth and lastly, you should follow the etiquette for washing your hands and causing and strictly abide the basic infections precautions such as wearing a mask. In addition, the family or housemate of the self-contained person should first of all refrain from having contact with the self-contained person as much as possible, especially those with a weaker immune system, such as early pregnant women, children or those with chronic disease like cancer patients should be banned from making contact. Second, when you have choice but to make contact, use a mask and keep at least two meters away from each other. Third, live in an independent space from self-contained person and make sure that the public space is frequently ventilated. Fourth, you should wash your hands frequently with water and soap or a hand cleaner. Fifth, separate household items from those or self-contained people, such as disease towels and bedding, as well as that table surfaces, door handles, bathroom fixtures, keyboards beside tables, etc., which are touch a lot should be whipped frequently. And finally, six as carefully details monitoring of the health conditions of the self-contained persons. Furthermore, the symptoms of Corona-19 are repiratory and prenominal symptoms. For example, having a temperature over 37.5 degrees fever, coughing or a sore throat. Dear Cosmos TV, if you suspect any symptoms of Corona-19, please call the Center for Disease Control and Prevention at 1009 before visiting the hospital emergency room. You must also visit the screening office first and inform the medical staff at your office of your overseas travel history. Corona-19 is a very likely to spread, so everyone needs to be cautious and be careful with one another. However, it is an illness that can be overcome if we take personal hygiene seriously, really need to the government announcement. And follow prevention precautions. Please be sure to follow the precautions carefully. I will see you next time with ever better content. Please press the subscribe button and like. That's all for now. See you next time. Sarangamnida!